Hey guys, we are back for another video. I want to jump right in here relatively quickly and let's discuss NeNe Leakes and Claudia Jordan. Claudia Jordan is, she always have this woman, NeNe Leakes, in her, in her mouth, which I don't understand. Carlos King has already said that when he worked on Housewives, that it was actually Nene that told the network that they needed to keep Claudia because she was a good reader. And they still didn't keep Claudia. So I don't understand why this woman is always talking about Nene. It's like pathetic at this point. Well, y'all, let's jump into our intro so we can get into this video. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. And also, thank you to the ones who have went over to Patreon and you have followed and subscribed on Patreon. For those of you that have not, please go to Patreon. If you are not familiar with Patreon, you can simply go into Google and type Patreon. Once it comes up, it's going to say, find a creator. And you can start typing my name, Lakeisha, Lakeisha, and voila. So if you can please go over to Patreon um, so you can follow and subscribe over there. So you will be able to follow me when I get consistent with uploading my content over there. Okay, guys, let's jump into the video. So Claudia Jordan had the opportunity to speak out with regards to the situation between Portia Williams and Nene Leakes. We all know about, you know, at this point, we all should know. But for those of you that don't know, Portia Williams allegedly went to the production company and told the production company that she did not want to work with Nene. In turn, the production company asked Nene if she had any problems with any housewives. Um, and then they ended up recasting Portia because I guess she refused to work with Nene. Well, Claudia Jordan had some things to say. And I want to talk about it because we're just going to talk about it and then we'll get to it. But before we talk about it, I just never understand Claudia Jordan and her aim. She always tries to come across like she is this righteous person, um, but she is the most unhinged of them all, especially Claudia, when you wanna speak on issues all the time, especially related to black people when you're going around saying that black people are so dark that you can't even see them. But it's for my friend Tina Davina. It's her birthday party. It's the all black everything birthday party. I didn't really think it was a good idea with all these black people walking around because black on black, it's hard to see. I can't really see who's who in all black. I can only see the beige people like Cecily, Jason, Jamlan, kind of Tina, myself, everybody else. I only see teeth and eyes. So whatever, it's all good. It's her idea, it's her birthday. We are here. Brand. For Portia to kind of lean in like that, I thought that was pretty low down, especially for black women in the industry. The one thing that I've always admired about this industry, at least from the outside looking in, is black women usually have each other's back when it comes to work. They might not like each other, but they do help each other and they do try to help navigate each other. So I guess, Claudia, you could probably speak on this more than me, but I don't believe that anything Nene said was wrong. I'm gonna have to say this, and people can be mad if they want to. I remember many times of Nene being on Bravo on Watch What Happens Live and her saying that certain people should be fired from the show. Let's keep it a buck. She's definitely getting other people's other people's way of a check. And I think, unfortunately, this is coming back to bite her. Now, I do not think what Portia's doing is right either. Don't stop smelling yourself now, Portia, because the network has asked you to come back. Because you know the people do want Nene back on that show. Uh, they want her back on Housewives. And I'm sure they would love to see you two link up. But let us I'm not going to sit here and pretend that both of these ladies have not said things about other women to block them from getting bags. That is very well documented. All you got to do is go back and watch Andy's Watch What Happens Live. He asks everybody all the time. Who do you think shouldn't come back? And a lot of times, 
people were really saying who they should sent there. Uh, she's boring, candy. Like there's been a lot of that from each other. So it's not a victim and a in a an aggressor here. I think there's a lot of it going on both sides. That's I gotta be fair, you know, and I I, I gotta be fair. But Portia, remember you was just you just got back in the fold. Like relax, 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 and you know. I, because it, it's like, it, it's karma that keeps on happening, you know? You right. do it to her, it may get done to you. You don't know how this industry is going to circle the block because it always does. I'm right, on, what do you think? Um, but if I'm being honest, um, after watching the full clips, you know, it seemed like, like I'm, I'm, I stand with Needy, first of all. Let's just be very clear on that. I stand with Needy because it's like, listen, I've been hanging out with you. We were texting. We were friends. Yeah. We've been hanging out together. Then all of a sudden, it's time to get on set and you don't want to work with me. Honestly, I just have to call a thing a thing. I don't feel like Nene said, I don't feel like Portia wanted to share the spotlight. If we want to keep it 100, it doesn't matter who your fave is. Nene is the most polarizing housewife of all time. She is the biggest housewife of all time. She is the she's the she's the most famous to me. She's the biggest star out of all the housewives to me. And I just personally feel as though Portia knew that Nene being on that platform next to her probably was going to take away from her moment. And she mm. did not want to share that moment. And a lot of women, unfortunately, do that. A lot of black people do that because they feel like space is so limited in Hollywood. So we will not want to work with someone in fear that they'll take our spot. Right. Oh, it's definitely not a black woman thing. It's definitely a black people thing because there's a lot of crabs <laughs> in the bucket pulling people down. No, don't yeah. do that. Can't. Okay, guys, let's briefly jump into the commentary piece. So poor, um, um, same Portia, Claudia girl, shit the whole entire hell up please um because you sound ridiculous the commentary was centered around nini and portia and the situation with portia saying that she won she didn't want to bro um, work with nini and you took this entire story and what in the entire hell are you even talking about um you go on to say um that people are going to be mad at you. Yeah, people are going to be mad because every chance you get, you have something bad to say about Nene. But the 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 issue here is this same woman that you continue to talk about every chance you get, this was the same woman that advocated for you to stay on the show. Carlos King told you, Claudia, he said that, when he was the producer, Nene went to the producers and asked that you stay because she thought you were good for the show. But yet you keep on digging up this garbage saying that um, as if Nene was against you. Poor, poor, um, Claudia, I'm calling you Portia. Claudia, you sound ridiculous. Your talent didn't keep you on the show for whatever reason. They didn't want you on the show. Carlos King has have already told you that Nene advocated for you. Then you bring up this story about Portia and um, Nene is always trying to take money away from other people because when they go on Andy's show and he asks them who should remain on the show, Claudia, that is a question. So they are allowed to give... Um, their side to you know what they think and who what housewives should remain but that is in no way shape or form for you to go and lie on somebody and just make up a story um claudia these are totally two different things so it seems like claudia is just angry and mad because she only was on one season of the housewives because all of this stuff that she's bringing up it means absolutely nothing nor does it apply to this situation one way of or the other we saw claudia on the real housewives of atlanta and she attacked Portia. She attacked Nene. Um, the fact of the matter is, um, Claudia, you obviously wasn't a good fit for the show. And even Nene advocating for you still didn't keep you on the show. So you are just mad, girl. Um, and, you know, it's, it's getting old. It's getting old. It is clear, um, Claudia, that you are bitter because you would like to be back on The Housewives. But for some reason, it's just not working for you. So, we don't know what happened to the fact that they don't want you over there. Um, and that seems to be the issue. 
even when Armand gave his sentiments about what he felt, you still had to keep running your mouth because it seems like you didn't like the fact that Armand agreed with Nini. You have such a disdain for somebody that actually tried to keep you on the show because you're angry, girl, and you're mad. But it's for my friend Tina Davina. It's her birthday party. It's the all black everything birthday party. I didn't really think it's a good idea with all these black people walking around because black on black, it's hard to see. I can't really see who's who in all black. I can only see the beige people like Cecily, Jason, Jamlan, kind of Tina, myself, everybody else. I only see see the nine. So whatever. It's all good. It's her idea. It's her birthday. We are here. For Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video.